We are here in South Carolina and we stopped tonight at um, campground registration here to check in at Camp Pedro. So we got Sparky and the adventure wagon. year while we were out adventuring we found south of the border so this year we decided to try out their campground really loved the flat open sites uh, easy to pull through the bath houses were a little older but were being cleaned while we we're there so it's well maintained south of the border is simply a tourist trap plain and simple and i like tourist traps it's a pretty cool one Back in 1949, Mr. Schaefer started this with a simple beer stand. As it got bigger, he added other things. One of the things he added was a motel. During Mr. Schaefer's connections with the beer imports from Mexico, he met two young men who wanted to come to America. So Mr. Schaefer let them work at his motel. They eventually became known as Pedro. There are lots of places to have fun photo ops with weird creatures. That was kind of cool. We even let Chewie get eaten by a hippo. There was a little restaurant that served hot dogs, hamburgers. We didn't go in. Kind of cute. There was a reptile lagoon, which cost $8 to go into. Um, and then, of course, there are lots of fun little gift shops. Chewie was not real impressed with his sombrero. Um, I love these gift shops. I found lots of little gag gifts and little trinkets. Um, just miles and miles, it felt like, of shopping, which is cool. And it may be the only place left in America where you can still buy an ashtray. That's right, people. Do y'all know what an ashtray is for? Right there they are. I know the place is kind of old and dated, but it's kind of nostalgic to see. And just like always, like the video, subscribe to my channel for other quirky little fun adventures.